Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and a big warm welcome if you're new here. So uh, today's video is going to be um, like kind of like an inspiration video for you guys of doing like an Easter themed basket. If you don't celebrate Easter you can always do like a spring themed basket if you want to have like some activities and some ideas of things that you can kind of do with your little ones um, during the... Um, holiday period and yeah just to keep them like nice and entertained because if you're living in the UK like me the weather is absolutely horrendous like it has been just miserable that's the word that I can use no wonder I don't know if anyone's seen um that news article or whatever that stated the UK is um number two of the mo like number two most miserable place in the world or something like that I don't know and I feel like it's definitely true and I, I feel like a huge part of that is the weather um like when you wake up and you just see it like gray and rainy and cold like all the time you just don't like I personally don't have motivation to do anything whereas when I wake up and it's sunny I feel like so good I've got a spring in my step I've got energy and it's just different like I don't know I really 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 hope that soon um as we're approaching spring the temperature is going to start to pick up and it's going to be sunny and it's going to stop like being just horrible like it has been but anyway that's just a little bit i've gone off track here but um i thought i'll show you this basket so um this is what i created for adam and mia i'll go through all the bits inside with you guys and i'll tell you the prices of everything that i can remember i don't remember all the prices but yeah um so this basket to start off with is just a basket that we I bought from H&M. Um, I can't remember exact full price, but I'll link it in the description box. Um, I got it for a couple of pounds on some kind of discount that was running. So um, yeah, I got it for really cheap. But you can use any kind of basket, any box. You can even use like a shoe box. Um, if, if you want to make it fancy, you can put some wrapping paper on it, decorate it, you know, just something that's going to look like cute and that you can pop everything in. And I'll tell you the bits that the kids already have, the bits that are new, and yeah, we'll just go from there. So to start off with, I'm just going to say I'm not putting too much chocolates and stuff inside because um, I'm doing this video now as well so that it's in time for Easter, which normally everyone celebrates around the same time. But I'm Christian Orthodox and we don't celebrate um, at the same time as other people who celebrate Easter. We do some years, but some years we don't. It depends on like what when it falls in the calendar. And this year we're not. But I thought I'll put this up now because also like it's nice to have the the basket a month in advance so you can actually get through the activities because I feel it's kind of pointless to just give it like on the day or on the weekend or a couple of days before because you're not going to be able to get through all of it and it's kind of a waste. So it's perfect to get it um, organized and you know start using bits from it as soon as possible so you can actually enjoy the build up to the Easter um, but yeah so just a note we're going to start using it now but our Easter isn't until after um, Easter for everyone else <laughs> but yeah so the first thing oh yeah I wanted to mention so I haven't put many chocolates and things inside firstly Mia doesn't have we don't give her chocolate yet she's still too small and I'm trying to avoid that until she's at least two um, Adam does but I'm trying to like give him healthier um, alternatives and make more homemade things and stuff I'm really getting into that now but of course like he's a child and he will have chocolates here and there so I have got like a couple of chocolatey bits but I don't think I'm going to get like a proper Easter Easter egg because in our tradition as well we don't really give chocolate eggs we paint um, actual hard boiled eggs and we do it in like natural things like onion skin and this kind of stuff you can do it with actual like um dye for the um eggs as well but yeah we tend to in my house where up when i grew up with my mum and dad we tended to only have like really one color and then we'd put like stickers and stuff on it because um from the skin of the red onion it's like natural it doesn't go into the egg and stuff so yeah um if you want to like see more about that learn more about that if you've got any questions let me know in the description box and if you'd like me to kind of film like um painting the eggs and stuff with the kids this year when it comes to that time let me know as well Anyway, I'm talking too much, so I'm just going to get straight into the box now. So the first thing that I popped in there, just for decoration purposes, is this beautiful jelly cat um, little bunny. And I didn't buy this. Actually, Mia got this when she was born from my lovely friend Artie, and it's so beautiful. I'm not sure how much it is, but I'll link it in the description box. I'm pretty sure it's quite pricey, this brand is, but um, I think they're so worth it. She, like, sleeps with this. 
um, and it's just so snuggly and something that she'll be able to like keep forever. So that's the first thing. Um, the next bit that I got, some bits are more specifically just for Adam, some bits are for them to share and so on. Um, the next bit that I got is this, <laughs> these Batman um, sunglasses. This is from B&M. Um, so these were £3.50 and I got them because he used to have like some other Marvel ones from Primark but they got broken and he was really upset so I thought I'll get him some new ones as hopefully the weather's going to get better and then he can you know wear them when we go outside but yeah I think you'll love these. Um, the next thing that I got is stickers so Adam is really 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 into Peppa Pig at the moment so I thought like I'll get him a Peppa Pig uh, mega pack I think this was like £1.50 something like that don't quote me on it again from B&M and I know that he'll have so much fun like playing with this sticking it everywhere and so on Mia's also really into Peppa Pig she doesn't watch TV but we've got a couple of Peppa Pig books, like ones that we borrowed from the library and so on. So when she sees um, any kind of pig, actually, not just Peppa, like any of the characters, she'll be like, Peppa, Peppa. <laughs> it's so cute. So she's really into it as well. So, but yeah, she's too small to use the stickers, but she can just like point to them and stuff. Um, so that's more for Adam. To be honest with you, majority of the things are more for him because she's still a baby and like she can't get involved in, in everything. Um, but yeah. I mean they're gonna play together as I said the next bit that I got is this which I thought was pretty cool again from B&M it was £2.50 they've got some really cool um, Easter bits in there at the moment lots of like crafts and things as well so I would definitely check it out but this is hatch and grow your own chick and I just thought it would be super cute and Adam will enjoy this because he's into like little experiments and stuff so um, basically after 72 hours you get a little chick um, toy that hatches from this so we're going to be doing that he might actually ask to do that today so we might start that today we'll see and um, the next thing that I got is this because I thought it would be super cute for their play kitchen this is for both of them and also because I am subscribed to Mabel's Playroom I've mentioned this a couple of times on my YouTube channel um, it's amazing there's so many like play ideas and she gives like a recipe for like this play ice cream that you can make so I thought it would be perfect I can make it and then they can play like um shops and ice cream and whatnot um but yeah this was three pounds normally these ice cream scoops and things are like over ten pounds on Amazon and other places but in B&M three pound and I feel like they've got yeah they've given us an extra scoop <laughs> there's supposed to be four scoops and four bowls um but yeah we've got an extra scoop in there I'm not sure why but yeah um super cute i know that they're gonna love that they love um playing mia just likes like mixing things in little bowls and stuff and adam just loves role play at the moment so i'm sure he's really really gonna enjoy that and um, the next thing that i got which is more so for mia but it's for both of them because adam still loves bubbles um and it's this bubble wand bunny uh one pound fifty from b&m i just thought it was super cute they had like a little chick one and this one and i was thinking to get two but then i was like there's just no point because they'll use it like why, why do I need to get two? Like, they can, they can share everything. Um, so it was £1.50, and yeah, I think they're going to enjoy this so, so, so much. Um, they love popping bubbles. Like, which kid doesn't, to be honest? Um, next up is some sweet treats. So literally, all I've got for Adam is these Kinder Mini eggs, and I think that's all that I'm going to put in there from, like, chocolates. Um... And I think he is going to really enjoy this because he loves Kinder. And then for Mia, um, she likes these Barney little ones. So I've just opened the pack and popped a few in here. So that's that. But obviously they can, he can have some of those as well um, if he wants to. And then one thing that Adam is going to really enjoy that I got is this Peppa Pig Bake Your Own Peppa Pig Shaped Biscuits. So it's vanilla flavoured baking mix and then there's a, like a little pig cutter. <laughs> I think he's going to love this. So we're probably going to, he's probably going to ask to do this today, but like I'll let him pick one activity to do today and then yeah, the rest we'll just do on another day. Um, he loves biscuits, cookies, so and he really likes like baking. So I think he's going to really enjoy this. Um, so yeah, we're going to try that out at some point. They had like other ones in there as well. But I thought this one will be perfect because, as I said, he's really, really into Peppa Pig at the moment. And then I picked up this from B&M as well. Um, more so for Adam at the moment, but uh, obviously as Mia grows, she'll be able to use it as well. So these, again, I've seen on places like Amazon um, for like 
17, 18 pound, even more, like 20 something. And this one was five pounds and it's this little magnet um, thing. So you basically color match. So you see, you take the magnets and you put them in the thing. Um, and I thought he would kind of enjoy doing this. Um, yeah, because it's, it's like quite fun even for adults to do. Like I, I would enjoy playing this with him. So we're probably going to do this whenever he, he wants to reach for it. But yeah, and then Mia in the future when she's a bit older and she understands how to do it, she can use it as well. And then finally, the last bits that I got is books. So I actually got two books from B&M um, and it's the Pepper Goes to Hospital one and Pepper Goes to the Library and I thought they're both going to love these because um, as I said they're both really into into Peppa Pig at the moment so going to be reading these I'm pretty sure on repeat and then I've um, one of the books Mia got for her birthday and it's Tale, uh, it's the sorry Tales from Acorn Wood Lift and Flat book, The Rabbit Snap. So I thought it would be perfect to use here because obviously Easter bunnies and stuff. So it goes with the theme. So we've put this inside. We're gonna definitely be reading this. And then one book that's reused from before, uh, from a couple of years ago, and it is the We're Going on a Treasure Hunt, Lift the Flap and Find the Treasure book. And um, yeah, the reason I got this one is because it's again bunnies and um yeah I just thought like it will go perfectly with the Easter theme treasure hunt it's like you know um egg hunt <laughs> similar so I thought this will be really cute I'll link everything in the description box guys as I mentioned but that's everything that I've popped in there the only other bits that I'm going to add in there but I haven't because Firstly, there was just no space, um, and secondly, I still haven't got them, is like little crafty bits. So I saw quite a cute couple of things in B&O, actually. There was like make your own bonnet, and they had different themes like dinosaur, unicorn for girls, this, that. I don't know. There was quite a few different ones. Um, and then there was like another treasure box thing to decorate and something else there was quite a few options but I didn't get any in there because I thought I want to pop into the works I would really really re recommend going in there because they've got some really good things in there and like really good prices um because you don't really want to spend like so much money on this kind of stuff and um well I don't anyway I, I always look like to, to buy good quality things but not pricey things and things that are going to last and that are going to be used and played with and loved um but yeah crafts adam is really really into crafts at the moment um i mean mia she's still quite small but i thought i'll pop into the works and maybe get a couple of those like craft packs so like some you know one of those packs i think they sell for like seven pounds and it's mixed with like lots of paper and glue and little bits and bobs that they can you know he can have fun and create things with or maybe they'll have like some Easter theme things as well. I'm pretty sure that they will. So I'll pop in there and maybe add a couple of bits um, into the basket. But that is the Easter basket that I've created. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you've got any cool ideas that you want to share with me and any of the community watching on here, leave um, leave any comments below and let us know what you'd put in yours or, you know, um, where you'd go to shop for little bits um, for the basket. And yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this, um, I really enjoyed making this video for you and yeah, I'm sorry I'm like talking so quick, I'm kind of really excited to be vlogging, vlogging and creating content for you guys but at the same time I'm like in a, such a rush because me is sleeping for a short period of time and I'm like oh god I keep looking at the time, I'm like okay I need to wrap this video up because I've got to make lunch um, for today and for tomorrow and I've got a couple of other bits to sort out so sorry if I'm like talking quite quick um, but yeah I've really enjoyed making this video, hope you guys have as well. Um, another video that's going to be coming up very soon is what Mia got for her first birthday um, just because, as I mentioned before, I think I mentioned before, I personally love to, if I'm going to a birthday party for a child or if I'm thinking of getting something for either one of my little ones, I love to like watch videos of ideas and things like that, you know, because everyone like ha buys and gets different things and it's just nice to like see different ideas of what you could get for that age range and um, I'm waiting to film it properly because Mia's got something arriving in the post 
Um, so I'm just waiting for that to arrive to be able to do the video so that you guys can see like everything that she got. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to do it as an inspiration video if you're kind of looking for little things to give gift a one year old. Um, hopefully it will be useful and helpful. But anyway, I hope you guys all have a lovely week ahead and thank you so much for watching. Bye.